we're looking at the colors available from PCBWay's advanced PCB manufacturing service. So this is quite an expensive service, which means these colors are pretty rare. Most people don't tend to go for them. So it's super exciting that we can have a look at them here. If you're interested in designing and building your own custom keyboard like this, I've done a whole bunch of videos on this channel looking at the process, and you'll need a PCB manufacturer to build this bit, the actual board. And PCBWay are one of those manufacturers, and they're kindly sponsoring this video as well, and they picked up the bill for these advanced color boards. So it's many, many thanks to them that we can have a look at these in this video. I was using PCBWay before they started sponsoring these videos. I've no problem recommending the service they provide. I've never had any technical issues or anything like that. They're super affordable and they're very fast as well. They've really got fast shipping and fast turnaround times for those boards, so definitely happy to recommend them. This is the pink solder mask layer, and I think this is the color people tend to think of when they think of these rarer advanced colors. Um, and it, it looks great, of course, with the white silk screen. For some reason, this board can look a little bit dull in photos, but in real life, it doesn't have that. It is bright. It's sort of, it is quite a desaturated pink, but it's because it's so light, it does still look quite a bright, fresh color, and it is very eye-catching. So there's a difference between these colors in that they, they have different levels of translucency. So when you hold them up to light, some will let some light through and reveal that sort of vein effect of the trace roots on the board, like a leaf, uh, and others will just not let any light through at all. And the pink is kind of translucent, so you can see light through it, and if you shine a torch through it, you can see it glowing through. What we're looking at here, if you're new to PCBs and the kind of terminology that we're, we're talking about, the color bit of the board that changes when you order a different color option is just the solder mask. So there's this layer that sits over the top of your copper trace root layer to stop it sort of making connections where there shouldn't be connections. And that's called a solder mask. And that's the bit that comes in these different colors. And obviously when you have your solder mask, there are little parts of that that expose the copper layer below so that you can actually make those solderable connections, but it covers up the rest of it. And so obviously the properties of this solder mask change the way the board looks quite a lot. So if it lets a lot of light through, you'll be able to see through below when you shine the light through if it's completely opaque you won't see much of that trace root layer at all apart from the sort of uh, embossed indentation effect where you, you see it pushing through and then of course you can have a glossy one or a matte one and of course the difference in color as well so on top of the solder mask layer you can actually have a silk screen layer and that's where you can put artwork so you can kind of design any kind of artwork and put it into this silk screen layer and that then gives you a color of that shape over the top of the solder mask layer so you can choose your color of the solder mask and then when you have your silk screen layer on top you get that contrast between the color so so in the pink one here, I went for a white silk screen because I think that white and pink combination is just too good uh, not to have a look at. But because this pink is tonally quite light, I think a black silk screen could look just as good on this as well. Next, we're looking at this gray and yellow. Now, I went with that because I thought, you know, gray and yellow can look quite good, but it's important the tonal contrast is right. And I think in this case, they're tonally too similar. We don't get that contrast. So I think the effect is a little bit lost. I think a, a white or a black even may have looked better for the silk screen layer on this gray board. Interestingly, with the gray board, it looks like the substrate they used is actually a slightly different color as well. Normally, if you look at the edge, you can see the color of the board material itself, and it's kind of a yellowish uh, color normally. But with this gray one, it's got a bit of a green tint to it, so that's quite interesting. And this gray solder mask is not translucent at all. You can shine a torch through, and you just don't get anything through apart from where there are actual through holes in the board. So you, you don't get that leaf effect when you hold it up to light. So this one, like all of these other four advanced colors, are actually glossy in finish, so they're, they're all normal glossy look to them. There's a couple of color options that have a matte finish to them in the normal colors that you can choose on PCBWay's website. Website, uh, but these advanced ones are all glossy. They will have a similar level of gloss to them. If we look at the orange and black, so I went with the black silk screen on the orange board here. Now this is again is quite a translucent one, a bit like the pink. You can see that glow of a torch through, and you get that sort of vein leaf effect when you hold it up to light as well. And I went with the black just because the orange and black is a bit of a cool combination. I think it would look quite good. But again. The orange is dark enough, I think, in tone to make the white silk screen work just as well on this. So this is the one that I was really excited about. Uh, I almost completely missed it because there's a tiny tick box further down the page that enables you to choose a black uh, substrate material for the board itself. But what we're looking at is actually a transparent solder mask. So you can you can choose the transparent color, uh, but you want to tick this box to get the black board because without that, you just get the yellow board under the transparent layer and it probably wouldn't look that great. But of course, what's going on is because the solder mask is completely transparent, transparent, you can see all of your copper layer. And if we use a nice finish for that copper layer, like we've got the gold finish here, you get this incredible look where you can see all of the copper layer shining through this transparent solder mask. Um, it just looks almost like there's no solder mask on it at all. You can see a sort of halo effect around the traces, around the copper traces through, just where I think it's stretched the solder mask over that. You kind of get a sort of glow effect. But basically, you can just see this lovely dark board through the solder mask layer, along with all of that gold trace route. So if you spent a bit of time and really designed a nice looking copper layer with some really in intricate kind of shapes in those trace routes, you could make an incredibly striking board here.
And I went with the white silk screen on this one as well, just for that contrast with the dark. So this one isn't actually as dark as I thought it was going to be. It's more of a dark gray. I think that's really cool. It's kind of this sort of dark graphite gray. And then obviously with the white silk screen on top, the whole thing is very striking with the gold rooting copper layer shining through. The bulb we're actually looking at here is the latest version of my 18 key layout. So I tweaked the previous version, the piano, which had this splay and the stagger in the, in the columns. So it was interesting with that board because I never felt I could get as fast on that board as I did with my card keyboard, which was a 16 key ortho linear split board. Um, so what we've done with this one is gone back to that ortho linear grid, but kept the 18 key layout. And I think this is the best one I've done so far. It's really fast, very, very comfortable. I think it's almost perfect. Uh, the only thing is there's a, I made the gap slightly too big between these keys. So the future version is going to solve that problem. Other than that, they work really nicely. I'm actually thinking of selling these boards. Obviously I've got a bunch here and all these different colors that I'm not going to use. So if you're interested in that, let me know in the comments below whether there's any interest in, in soldered fully functioning versions of these boards. Obviously I'm no expert in soldering soldering it would probably be me that would do that so but I appreciate if you have no soldering skill at all you might want to jump in you would you may prefer that over no soldering at all so let me know if there's any interest either way if you just want the boards as they are or fully assembled or whatever and, and we can take that conversation further also let me know in the comments below if you're thinking of using any of these advanced colors after seeing this video for any of your own designs that'd be great to know do check out the rest of the channel I've done a bunch of videos on these custom keyboards and how to make them and how to order them and how to put them all together with the firmware and all the rest of it if you watch this video next you'll see the whole process from start to finish in one video and then you can spin off to the other videos to see more detail on individual parts and I'll see you there.